Tam un max. Yeah. I didn't know this one's about aliens. I remember Hell, which is the next and last episode of Season 5. I don't remember anything of the aliens. I only know that it's aliens because I pulled up the guide for this early, just in case. And then I saw the fucking icon shit. Beautiful effects. Beautiful. Bunny. Okay, we're in, boys. Yay. Bosco! Free anti-mind control helmets for the first 50 lunatics to come out of hiding! I've been telling you, little pals, he's just plain vanished. Tragic. We'd better look around the joint for clues. Good plan, Sammo. Guess that's why they call you guys in for the brainy stuff, and leave the senseless violence to the likes of me. I deeply resent that comment, Mr. Paper. Yeah, Flint. We're gonna have to join together and use every detective skill we know to find Bosco. Yay! Well, that's a no-go. Any more ideas? Hmm, let me think. Let's just look around. Let's look around. Okay, what are we doing? Are we getting any lag? No, we're fine. Um... Let's look at shit. Bosco didn't take any pictures of himself. His camera no doubt thanks him. Tragic. As informative as Max Impeachment Weekly is, I doubt it'll tell us where Bosco is. It's Bosco's lighted display board. I've always wondered what Bosco keeps hidden back here. Hey, we actually I've get to go back here. He's wearing pants back there. Wow, it's everything we needed to solve last year's hypnotism conspiracy. Uh. Whew, I'd kill for a time machine right about now. Of course, I'd kill for just about anything. Understandable. It says, the code is in my head. We better find it soon, then. It must be getting lonely. Uh, is that... is the code on this it's head? It's Bosco's My First Moai Head toy. Is there a code on it? Nah. Is there a code on it? Nuh-uh. Okay. This keypad must control the laser grid blocking Bosco's bathroom. Oh! Use it to spell boobies! I love that! Mm, boobies. Bosco, lasers, and pushing random buttons are three things that don't go well together, little buddy. Well, we gotta find something that's ahead, and apparently the toy does not count. Unless we gotta put the toy, like, in an x-ray thing. Bosco? Nope, different weenie. Nope. Fucking nothing to do here. Boss goes in here. This is the bomb thing. Bosco, you in there? I hope not. Or Bosco be gone. But, um... We already checked the roof. Just a pigeon AA meeting. Nothing worth mentioning. Okay. What about the banang? Our lust for this tangy fruit drink started this whole mess. Uh-huh. No clues here. Just an enlarger. No big thing. Uh-huh. It shows you what's inside, what's inside. Ed? Ed? Alright. Oh. Let's have a look at your x-ray, Mr. Moai Head. Alright, is the code we'll going to be inside that head? We'll see what's causing that persistent tinnitus. Prognosis, Sam? Either this toy has a tumor the size of an overfed cat, or it's too dark to read it. What the fuck is that? It's like a pickle? Hmm, it looks like... Hey! Say it? It looks like Bosco's as clever as you are at cutting-edge intellectual yeah, I can humor. solve shit. <laughs> you gotta admit, that is pretty funny. Thanks, Paper. It's the x-ray I took of Bosco's Moai head. A piece of paper inside says 5318008. Okay. What's all the other shit, by the way? Are T-H-E-M really out there? Probably. Any clues for us, Hugh Bliss? Nope, not a clue. All that paranoia. And he couldn't even save himself. I got so excited, I forgot that I was excited. No clues here. Peace, Ismo. What's shaking? We 
can't get in until we get past this laser grid. To get past the laser grid, first you have to forgive the laser grid. <laughs> Let's go and look at the rest of the ship before progressing. The freezer's Bosco free. Let's see if there's any goodies. A painful reminder of the Bosco-shaped hole in our hearts. All right. I wonder if I can actually punch it in or Sam's just going to do it for me. Okay. You did it, Samo. Let's check in the bathroom for more clues. It would be funny if the bathroom was just like a staircase or some shit. Loading for a bathroom like this. See if there's anything in the bathroom to tell us where Bosco's top secret bunker is. Or maybe the bathroom is his top secret bunker. This is exactly where I'd want to spend an apocalypse. So I sense that to to something the terrible happened here. Ho ho, you don't know the half of it. I'd say it's a restroom. Okay, so we got uh what's in the waste basket? It's empty. Okay. Bolton? Bosco's been ordering nothing but baking soda and paper mache. Uh-huh. Bosco has all his shirts specially treated to block out the thought control rays. Lest nefarious forces take control of his nipples. He still kind of got hypnotized. The Bosco Tech Drain Liberator Twice. 6000. I'm not going anywhere near that thing. Not after seeing what it did to that sludgy delivery guy. The sound alone Tragic. still haunts my nightmares. Uh, hello. Hot toilet wine. Everything Bosco would need to survive for months. Cool. I'm pretty sure I can hold it until the end of the case. Pretty sure. From the looks of it, these wine bottles haven't been touched in decades. Okay, I'm already seeing scrawled on the wall. You explode it, they will come. Baking soda plus vinegar equals eruption. I'm gonna have to cause an explosion. Well, let me look at the other shit first urinals. Such a crude and barbaric means of bladder relief. Says the guy who uses the fire hydrant. At least the game is being kind I would and clean up putting your answers right in front of your face. I don't want to disturb any evidence. If you explode it, they will come. And if it's brown, flush it down. Yep, yep. A jumbo-sized bag of cotton balls. D don't open it, Sam! I can never eat just one. It's so perfect. Bosco's high-tech, 100% convincing disguise kit. So, which kit was he using last year, then? Bosco's disguises, each more offensively ludicrous than the last. Baking soda plus vinegar equals eruption. Sounds hot, but they didn't leave a phone number. Bosco keeps plenty of baking soda on hand to keep the bathroom fresh. Tons of model volcanoes just like the one on Easter Island. It's like Bosco was obsessed with this shape. Like I'm obsessed with the shape of Bosco's unnaturally bulbous forearms? A uh, little like that, but slightly less creepy. That interesting taste, little buddy. There's no way I'm touching that towel, not after all the people who've been using it. But Bosco and I are the only ones who ever come back here. Exactly. Now the little, little soda popper was in here. Um. Oh, it was this. Not big enough. Bigger. Ugh, sheesh. Even bathrooms aren't safe from natural male enhancement spam. Well, I sure did. We'll get extra in case. Um. It's an industrial sized barrel of baking soda. Um. I'm guessing the vinegar's elsewhere. Unless I can... Can I just use... Oh, I can use the wine bottle. Right, right, From right. From the looks of it. Right, right. Just give me the wine bottle. Hmm. A nice aged bottle of Nippy Valley... Woof! Nippy Valley Woof. For party time or any time. Some idiot left the cork out, Max. It turned to vinegar. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, that's simple. I gotta sneeze. 
It's like I'm always telling you, Sam. We need a much bigger explosion. This time, you might be right, Max. And I just... There's not enough baking soda left to do any good. I don't know how to open the barrel. Okay, so we gotta get the barrel open. What was that for, Sam? Hey! Uh, Pedro was looking at me funny. Okay. See, we're doing this. Yay, cutscene. My favorite. That looks great. And the school board said our cases had no educational merit. Do it again! Do it again! What's that noise? Hello. By dinner. Hello. They've come for us, Max. It's T H E M. Good. About time we found out who's responsible for this travesty. Aliens. I don't even remember what the aliens are going to be. Are they going to be some funny creature? Okay. Wow. I want to shoot. Let me shoot. Time to shoot. Time to shoot. I want to shoot. Let me shoot. Let me shoot. Let me shoot. It's shoot time. It's shoot time. Bam, 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 bam. I'm sure there's more things to shoot during this part. Sad. Like 12 minutes in almost on my end. Okay, now we're at 12 minutes in on my end. Oh, are you gonna be a skunk ape? Uh... Hey guys! <laughs> Look, I can explain. Okay. Did you get a haircut, Bosco? There's something different. Finally see a doctor about that uh, personal problem? You guys done? Yeah, that's all we got. Good. Now shut up and help me! What seems to be the problem, Bessie? That, that elevator over there, it's horrible! I went inside looking for T-H-E-M, but when I got out, I saw my mother. Yes! It gets worse. I ran out of there fast as I could, and when I came out, I was like this. You gotta fix it, guys. Well, seeing your skin color actually natural instead of the fucking blue silver ingesting fucking shit. I wonder if this is the skunk ape that's piloting this thing, because I know that shows up in fucking season three, because I had to do early testing shit. Ah, uh, how's it going, Bosco? What are you doing on an alien spaceship? I got tired of being scared of T-H-E-M. I finally said, bring them on. I built this device that let me predict where they were going to show up next. Then I let them come on and take me. So did you get udders or are you a boy cow? That's none of our business, Max. What happened next, Bosco? I used the device on myself, you know, to test it. After that, it's all a blur. Where's this THEM detector device you were talking about? I don't know. I must have lost it in that elevator after I got turned into this, 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 this thing. What is this place, Bosco? You guys still don't get it? This is it. The center of the entire operation of THEM. Kind of sparse for the headquarters of a sinister cabal bent on world domination. You don't need much room when you can go anywhere you want through time and space. Oh, okay. The place seems pretty empty. Where are T-H-E-Y hanging out? I don't know, but you can bet they're around here somewhere. Mm -hmm. Just wait to probe us and turn us all into freakish animal-human hybrids. Bosco, Sam is standing right here. What's with all the volcanoes back in your store? Guys, guys, try to keep up. Haven't you figured anything out yet? The volcano is what summons the spaceship, fools. That's true. Sam, is it my imagination, or are we being scolded by the guy who's half cow? Bye. Don't go anywhere, Bosco. Now, where am I going to go looking like this? Uh, Help me get back to normal, guys. We'll normal? help you out. <laughs> We'll get you back the way you were before, but uh, we're not promising more than that. What do we got on me? Darn, no extra baking soda. Um, what the fuck is this? 
Looks like some kind of weird alien radio. Alright, what's this? It's the elevator's emergency recall button. I press it's it. the elevator. Alright. Uh, can I get that thing? 1963. Oh. Okay, I guess we're going back to the past. Oh, fuck. We're gonna have to be doing so much time travel shit, aren't we? Well. Bosco's again? How'd we end up back here? Judging from the lack of safety railings and ready availability of guns and ammo, I'd say we've gone back in time. Seems to be some time hey! in the early sweet mother of mole sauce. You fools gonna buy something, or do you want to make a baby? Well, uh... now. Well. What's up, Mama Bosco? You must be Mrs. Bosco. That's Ms. Bosco. I don't want any part of your oppressive patriarchy. Sorry. Fair enough, ma'am. Miss, you. Who are you? Sam and Max, freelance police. Finally, the police. Maybe you can help me catch that fool. Oh. Which fool did you want us to catch exactly? That, that man who just came in here yelling about conspiracies and busting up the place. Bosco always did know how to make a memorable first impression. I mean... Can you tell us more about the man who trashed your shop? He took one look at me and screamed. That should narrow the list of suspects down to... any man with eyes. Then he stumbled back and ran right into my baby maker. Ouch! We can't take the case, but we'll keep an eye out for your vandal, Miss Bosco. I swear if I ever find him, I'm gonna make sure he gets no pleasure in this life. Oh, don't worry, uh, you did. I haven't heard a tale of motherly love like that since the Manchurian Candidate. We're here to help your son. I don't have a son. You think it's not enough I'm a businesswoman and inventor? A woman's only useful if she's got a son. Sorry, ma'am. It's not that. We're friends with him. Well, acquaintances. We know him. We've spoken to him more than once. Doesn't matter. I'm not defined by my children. But when I do have one, she's gonna be the most perfect little angel. Ouch. What was that you said about making a baby? I'm made uncomfortable by this line of questioning, Sam. That's just because you're scared of a world where career-minded women don't need to be tied to a man to have a family. This ain't the past anymore. It's the 1960s. They can talk about putting a person on the moon, and I can invent a baby-making machine. Okay. Well, how does this baby-making machine work? You just take a DNA sample from the mother and the other person and combine them in that machine. Let it bake a couple hours, and you've got a beautiful baby girl. Or boy, I guess. I've already got my own samples in there. I'm gonna test it out tonight after closing. Uh, how do you get the DNA samples? Isn't that obvious? Saliva, fools! Ah! Uh... Naturally. Oh, of course. Oh. Where'd you get the father's sample? Oh, him. Well, I was just in Washington, D.C. for a special occasion, and when I was touring the White House, I met a nice man in a dark suit. He was polite and didn't say much. Seemed like his spit was as good as anybody else's, so I picked him. I wonder. See you later, Ms. Bosco. We're gonna pick up some swinging 60s chicks and start yeah. a groovy hallelujah. Men. That's his spirit. Out, Max, you don't even like girls. Oh, right, right. You got a problem with women? Nah, just never interested. With all the general malice I have to get done in a day, girls are just a huge waste of time. I have never been as turned on as I am right now. Uh, what? You just never found the right woman, and I never found the right man. Forget the baby maker. Catastrophic temporal anomaly detected. Run away with me, Max, my white stallion. Curse my irresistible animal magnetism. I'm a bad seed. I can't be faithful to just one woman. Oh, I'm enough this? for at least a dozen women. You dog, you. Can this be solved? We're from different worlds. 
I'm from Earth, and you're from the freakiest planet of the freak system. Opposites attract, baby. Damn, you're the only she's man good. Not falling over himself to get me. We're from different worlds. I'm from. All right. I'm president of the U.S., and you'd make a lousy first lady. You just don't know what you want. I may not be the first, but I'm the last lady you'll ever need. I'm married to my career. They had the ceremony in Canada because it's legal there. All those womp, excuses womp. you keep making just prove you need me. Damn. Just looking at you repulses me. And that's from a guy who has a 12-volume scrapbook labeled Things I Have Shed. You can try to push me away, but I know how you really feel. I think I'd rather take napalm and an IV drip while being pulled through a wheat thresher than spend another second with you. You can't get rid of me that easy. Miss Bosco, I really think you should reconsider. I can already see us. Living next door to that nice detective. Well, it would be nice having someone to do my laundry. You don't even wear clothes. And yet, I always end up with so many bloodstained shirts. Tis a mystery. Nice detective. Think of your children. What about that? I won't need kids once I have the love of my Max. He'll be my new little pet project. Max just isn't that into you. Oh, jeez, Sam, show a little tact. What he means to say is, there is absolutely no way, no how, I would ever, 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 ever be interested in you until the day the Earth is consumed by the flames of our exploding sun. You say that now. Max is belligerent, recalcitrant, and quite possibly psychotic. So you're jealous, is that it? Want to keep him all to yourself? I'm a sexuality never wins. this way, Sam. Temporal anomaly detected. Shut up. It's not like that. Ah. Uh, okay. It's funny because I think we already saw the wedding photo in the first season. Let's see. Is this... Max is no good for you. Oh, I can fix him. Max doesn't even like girls. They're a nuisance at best. Hasn't been interested since. Well, when did that start exactly? I think it all goes back to that time we were. No flashback? Mm, okay. Well, it's been ever since junior high. Seriously, Max has never been into girls. Ever since we were kids. I can change that. Look, lady, you just don't get it. I'm just not into you. Keep on protesting. It just makes me know you're the one. Well, let's look at everything now. What's up? Fight the power, Ms. B. You be careful out there, Max. Oh, wait. I need a refresher. Where'd you get the father's sample? Oh, him. Well, I was just in Washington, D.C. for the White House. I met a nice man in a dark White suit. White House dark suit. He was polite and didn't, polite say, didn't much. say much. Seemed like his spit. Is it just Super Bowl? But you mentioned detective, which makes me think of Flint paper. Bye, Ms. B. This sounds like it's Super Bowl. Nine millimeter hollow points are always special. True. I guess we'll find Super Bowl at some point. Nations rise and nations fall, but those hot weenies will outlast us all. So oh, true. The one constant across all human cultures of all times is a massive amount of waste. So oh, true. Hello. Hey Max, remember that old carbon data we got from Sybil last year? Yeah, we gave it to Bosco so he could keep scanning his weenies. Looks like he's made some uh, modifications to it. They're... they're... They're beautiful. Whee! Whee. No siree. Nothing doing. Nope. Not happening. I'm guessing we fuck with it when we get to the pass. We're obviously gonna go to the pass. Baby food and bum wipes. If you use less of one, you wouldn't need as many of the other. This sample has been completely contaminated by milk. It'll have to be replaced. Hmm, what's this? It's my chemical sampling. Get somebody to spit on it, and it gives you a sample test tube for the baby maker. 
Mind if we borrow it? Go ahead. I already got all I need. Looks like a weird bread-making machine. Don't be silly. That's my baby maker. You take a spit sample from the mother and one from the father, mix them together in that machine, and then out comes a happy little bundle of perfection. Finally, somebody explains how that works. That's not the generally agreed upon method, Max. Hmm, this sample says Mama Bosco. Don't touch that! I made that sample when my spit was most fertile. Understandable. This sample is... Okay, same as before. Er... Uh... What a waste. What a senseless waste. Uh-huh. Whee! Oh, hey, the bathroom's the bathroom. Russians send first woman into space. Soon they'll send all their women into space. Hey, another wine bottle. Hmm, a nice aged bottle of Nippy Valley brand vinegar. Ah, oh, some idiot left the cork in, Sam. It's still wine. Let's just let that breathe for a few decades, Max. Oh, okay. It's a bottle of proto vinegar that should be very useful about 40 years from now. Okay, so we have to go to the future. Gotcha. I'm still fairly sure I can hold it. I'm still fairly sure I can hold it. Okay. No timeout needed. What is wrong with you, man? Why are you on your pee pee shit? We're better to crunch numbers than in the jar. My paws are spotless. Oh, the germs look so young. Uh, let's just go. Cold orange things you suck never go out of style. So true. Milk and hooch. Something for the kitties and something for your cereal. Uh. Ah, nah, we know what do you me. think you're doing? You know, the usual. Traveling through time and stuff. Override. You've caused a catastrophic temporal anomaly. You're going back to the ship so you can think about what you've done. I mean, that's fine. I don't care. Just look at what you did. Sam, what's a catastrophic temporal Oscar's paradox? Oscar's disappearing. That! What the hell did you guys do? Max, when you made Mama Bosco decide not to have a baby, that meant Bosco was never born. But if Bosco was never born, then we never would have gone back to meet Mama Bosco in the first place. Neat! Are you fools just gonna stand there explaining everything, or are you gonna fix me? We'll fix you. Yeah. Give a guy a cool cow body, and all of a sudden he's the owner of the time stream. Hi, Bosco. Did Please. you miss us? What have you two been doing all this time? Hanging out with your mom. Real classy, guys. Fine. Don't help me. Feeling better, Bosco? I don't know, you guys. I still feel kind of distant. What did you guys do? We kind of made it so that you've never been born. Whoops. But being born is one of the greatest things I ever did. Fix it, you fools! We'll Existence isn't something you can just ask for, Bosco. You've got to earn it! How's life as a paradox treating it, Bosco? It sucks, man. I want to exist all the way again. Do poor something! Bastard. Poor, poor bastard. How is this THEM detector supposed to work again? It's a highly sophisticated technology that works based on a target person. You scan somebody with it, then use that to open a new destination for the time machine. Ah, <sighs> finally a straight answer. I don't know why they started outsourcing tech support to store owners on spaceships. Can you describe your father for us? Man, I thought you guys were detectives. 
Haven't you figured out I was a test tube, baby? My mama didn't need a man. I got everything from her. Where'd you get your paranoid fear of giant invisible conspiracies out to kill you? That's a chemical imbalance that's all mine. Oh, okay. Are you sure you can't give us any leads on your father? Mama Probably mentioned Super Bowl. she met him at the White House. We're on the case, Bosco. We've got to go break up with your mother. I told you guys, cut it out! It's probably Super Bowl. Bosco already scanned himself with this thing. Oh. Get over here. Where are you going? Get over here. Wait. Hmm, it printed out a card with the Intergalactic Freelance Police logo. Ooh! Sounds intriguingly futuristic. What about you? It printed a time card with Stinky's logo on it. Hey! What happens if I, uh... uh... Okay, fuck, let me put these. Okay. Hey, okay, okay. Oops. Uh, let's go scan Mama Bosco again, just in case. Probably not gonna change anything, maybe? Maybe? Probably not gonna change anything. What was that? It printed a time card with a presidential seal and hey. some strange numbers. We can use that. Uh, fuck it. Do the Oval Office one. Fine, Super Bowl. Or some other president. Or Flint Paper. Or just some random White House schmuck. I feel like it's gotta be Super Bowl. Wait. Look, Sam! It's my summer office! I don't think so, Max. Take a look around. Welcome to the Oval Office, visitors. Hey! Next tour begins in 30 minutes. This is a long time before the horrific sequence of events that led to your presidency. I'm not leader of the free world here? This will not stand! Is this JFK? Uh... Let me just go look around first. I'm guessing they couldn't fit a television on there. A true weasel scout would keep his merit badges on him at all times. Be prepared. Be very prepared. Uh-huh. This far in the past, I assumed the Earth was still flat. Womp womp. It's the official calendar of the United States. The best part of being president is changing the date for the entire country. I don't want to change the date right now. I'm temporarily confused enough as it is. Understandable. Hi, Jackie. I wonder who's in this picture. It probably came with the frame. The father of our country. Annals of Americana. <laughs> Foreign policy for ninjas. If I remember my history correctly, today's the day of the pivotal rat peace accords. We better not disturb them. Oh, okay. Hi, I'm George Washington. Shove your nuts in my mouth and I'll crack them. Please don't make fun of nuts. Womp womp. Please examine the goddamn pillow. Having 50 of these pillows would make the place a lot more comfy. We could build a fort! Fort. Whoever chose this lamp was taking liberties with the concept of good taste. Things to do in Dallas. Yeah, okay, so it's JFK. I understand everything. Uh, I don't think there's anything else to really examine. How you doing, Super Bowl? Hi there, random Secret Service agent. I can answer any of your questions. Please don't touch anything. I'm Agent Super Bowl. Super Bowl? It's a code name, sir. I'm a bouncer. 
Secret Service humor. In the future, we know a guy who looks just like you, with the same name. I've never seen you before, and there couldn't be another Agent Superball, sir. The code names are unique. <laughs> oh, Superball! I get it! Where's the president? He's in the war room. Important national crisis. Bob and when I said national crisis, I meant to say he's just watching television. Oh, okay. We are not at the brink of war with Cuba. Right, right. All right, Sam. Our mission is clear. Nuke the commie I best! I think we've seen enough of the war room for one lifetime, Max. Right, yeah, okay. you're right, Sam. Having to hurt people from a distance takes all the fun out of it anyway. What do you think of the president? He's the greatest man who ever lived, sir. Oh, these poor bastards of the 60s having to grow up in a world without David Arquette. Heard any good gossip about the president? Extra toes or nipples, can't talk to the press without slices of ham stuffed down his pants. Stuff like that. The president is beyond reproach, sir. I won't hear any more of it. How long have you been working for the White House? Just a few months. I've already been assigned my first door. That's all special. you do? Guard this door? Not at all, sir. I also provide tours, run the patent office, and narrate public service announcements. That's a lot of work for one man. I'm still new. In 40 years, I'll be promoted to receptionist. There you go. We need your help with something official. What will it be, sir? We want to hear you narrate a public service announcement. All right. Are your cigarettes killing you? As unbelievable oh. as it might seem, cigarettes made outside the U.S. actually contain chemicals that are addictive and possibly even okay. harmful. For your own safety and that of your children, smoke only homeland-grown tobacco, the kind doctors recommend for your good health. Now you know, for a better America. Wow. We want exclusive rights to produce our latest invention. We wish to crush competing inventors to see them driven before us and hear the lamentations of their patent lawyers. Very well. What'll it be? I don't know. It's for a baby crib that rocks itself, using a motor powered by angry bees. That's clever, sir. But I can't just issue a patent on an idea. I'd need a sample of the invention, plus an explanation of what makes it unique. We'd like a tour of the office. Very well, sir. That's a desk. There's a couch. Another couch is there. A calendar. Some pictures. The door you see behind me is 100% northwestern white pine with wow. an interior flat jam in. That's plenty, thanks. Just keep guarding that door. Gladly, sir. Did you see a strange woman in here a while ago? Assertive career woman, asking everyone to spit. That's the one! Yes, sir. I admired her independent spirit and sass. We came here from the far-off future. Aren't you amazed and surprised? Isn't that shocking? I've seen a lot of things, sir. It takes a lot to shock me. Oh, really? I bet we could surprise you. Can't be done, sir. I'm imperturbable. We're your new sons. And we want to live in your house. And raise my children of questionable parentage. And we're both axe murderers. And I'm voting for Barry Goldwater. Nothing? It's like I said, sir. I'm not startled easily. Damn. We killed your dog. I'm surprised, sir. Really? Yes. Surprised that you try that one again. It never works. We come from the beginning of the 21st century. In the future. I like the Television mouth. is delivered through thick cables instead Animation of being of sent through the one. air. Does that not blow your ever-loving mind? Not really, sir. I'm not easily startled. All right, we give up. The man's a rock, Sam. Nice try, sirs. I almost felt my pulse rate increase there. He's... <coughs> Sorry. We need your help with something official. What will it be, sir? We want exclusive rights to produce our latest invention. Hopefully. Very well. What'll it be? It's a perpetual motion engine driven by racial tension. That's clever, sir. But I can't just issue a... I need a sample of the... All right. Just keep guard... Gladly. Keep up the good work. Thank you, sir. What happens if I shoot you with a gun? It printed a time card with our logo on it. It's the same one as... Is that the same one as before? Huh. 
that a cork? No way. Okay. Hey, Super Bowl, would you mind spitting on this? It's for a science project. Italy. Can't, sir. I never spit. Unless I'm startled or under extreme distress. Better not. Okay. Um, okay. Wait, hold on. Um... Uh... I guess we'll go to the present, 2008. Italy. Some tachyons in a gravy boat at the Grand Duchess's bat mitzvah. What disgusting hellhole have we ended up in this time? Looks strangely familiar, like Super Bowl. I'm not here, sirs. You can safely ignore me. Oh, okay. done. Uh, good place for a bath, right in front of the window. The Flora Brady has twice the style the fauna one ever did. Remember Easter Island? Yeah, me either. There's a couple of hooligans ruckus making down there. There's nothing good on, or bad on, for that matter. My desk. VCRs are old news. Time for a laser disc player. Okay. Bang. <laughs> oh. Bang. Project. Me, mighty hunter, kill fluorescent singing bear. Smile Timber. Seems like only yesterday it was Gabriel. Eh. The desk lamps are not something I care to discuss in mixed company. Oh, okay. Hey, can I Max, use this? Max, have you been sending Boxy Betty to... Hey. What? Hey, buddy! Throw us that remote control, would you? You're gonna need this! Thanks, buddy. Be you later. Why'd other me give me an egg? Want an egg? Not Nothing an egg. doing. Nope. Okay. Guess we got an egg. My summer desk. Oh, hey. I'm surprised this game survived being thrown clear of the Playland and Casino explosion. <laughs> Not nearly as surprised as the guy it landed on. Oh. Yay! Oh, hey, look at this. It's the model volcano that started this whole mess. It was very thoughtful of future us to bring it back as a souvenir. I'm gonna put, uh, wine in it. Jimmy still hasn't come home? All points bulletin. We need a new bulletin. If Santa were still with us, he'd be having a hell of a time finding a way to Bangkok. What do you get if you plant a Mexican jumping bean? You're looking at it. How long ago? Not yet, Super Bowl. I stopped using this once I realized we don't actually use files. Project. Whee! Max had to hang up his halo. Project. Can't, I can't go anywhere. Uh, what's up, Super Bowl? What are you doing here in our office? Investigating the president's disappearance, sir. So, you're back with the Secret Service then? Mmm, sure. Max wasn't missing. We've been on a case. We got beamed on board a spaceship! That's ridiculous, sir. Must have been a weather balloon. That was no balloon! It was a spaceship! Bosco saw it, too! Gas leak. Mass hypnosis. 
Oh, two okay. abductions on the same street in the same week? And you're going to just try and cover it up? I can neither confirm nor deny a cover-up, sir. How'd you find out we were missing? There was a rat, sir. Claimed he was de facto owner of this office since your disappearance. He was quickly taken away for questioning. Wow, it always takes us ages to get rid of Jimmy Two Teeth. We must be slipping, Max. All this time, I never thought to use rendition. Huh? How's the cover-up going? Very well, sir. Is what I'd say if there was a cover-up, which there isn't. Can you help us with our case? What seems to be the problem? Bosco's been abducted. Easily explained, sir. And he's trapped on a time-traveling spaceship. There's no such thing as time travel, sir. Look into my eyes, please. What were we talking about? You'd said that Mr. Bosco is having a perfectly rational vacation in Pago Pago. Yes. Pago Pago. Hey, look, Max. It's Agent Superball. You were saying something, sir. I can't remember. Very good, sir. We met a guy in Washington okay. who's a dead ringer for you. That would be me, sir. That was 40 years ago! You couldn't still look that young without a time machine or something. Clean living, sir. There's no such thing as time machines. Superball just an alien the whole time, then? I guess so. Be seeing you, Superball. We can't seem to avoid it. What happens if I fuck with time shit? Hey, Superball. Want to give us a sample of your spit? More than anything, sir. But I can't. It wouldn't be proper. Uh, bad. What if I scan you again? We can't see her. It says I've already scanned him. That's the same Super Bowl we met over 40 years ago? I'm aging gracefully, sir. Clean living. Alright. I wonder if the wine's gonna be good now. Go oh, back. Uh, yeah, that one. I mean, 40 years have progressed, so it's... Unless I have to go to a different version of Bosco's. I don't think so. Forty-seven minutes in. That's fine. Mostly just been talking. I right, can't take you. It's a bottle of proto vinegar that should be very useful about forty years from now. Oh, it's just a joke about the current time. Whee! Okay. You realize it's not a puzzle. It's we uncorked it, and then us in the future are gonna be like, oh, someone uncorked this. Yada yada. Okay. We're basically just setting the stage for us. Bells. Um. Buh, 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 buh. Went there. Went there. Oh, those are mon months and dates. Okay. Um, let's go to the 90s. Or is that the 80s? I think it's the 80s. 80s? 1980? Stinky? Stinky? We're gonna see Grandpa Stinky, I just realized. Yeah, there he is! Grandpa Stinky. What do you two want? It's the one true Stinky! Are we glad to see you? Why? Still, it's a new person to talk to. That's true. Look, Sam! It's us as impressionable preteens! Exceedingly well done! Can I scan you? Let's just get it over with. Weird, it doesn't work on him for some incomprehensible reason we don't care enough about to pursue further. Good, keep your fancy gewgaws and who's your watch it away from me. Yeah, the game doesn't want to have like a million different possibilities. Looks like Girl Stinky was telling the truth for once. The gooey molasses tar cake really is an old family recipe. Gooey Molasses Tar Cake. Oh, hey, that's a, that's a teaser. Another satisfied customer. 
check this out. It's from 1963, and it's signed by the president. My dearest Maxine, meet me tonight at Stinky's. Wear that dress I like, the one where I can see your... Holy! I didn't think they knew that word back then. The president's wife wasn't named Maxine. What is this, the Temperance League? Lighten up! Looks like this case has a screw loose. Why, you want me to bring this to them? Oh. Whee! Can I borrow that screwdriver? Well, as long as you promise to bring it back, I hate to think what would happen if I had to stop working on computers. Uh, yeah, uh, sure thing, kid. Oh, that's why you don't give a shit about computers in present time. Max, distract Stinky for me. Oh my god, look, Stinky! Yeah, what, what? Somebody's trying to break into your display case! Real smooth, little buddy. Alright, well, we'll show that to Super Bowl. There's just the one song. As Stinky would say, if you don't like it, go deaf. Hey, champ, what are you working on? I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. But we're strangers who have candy and cool guns you can play with. Well, that should be okay. I'm working on my new arcade game, Bluster Blaster. What are you doing with Bluster Blaster? I built them from a kit. Now I'm just working on the AI. Now I remember! You used to be a total nerd, Sam! Funny, though. All this time we've spent talking to the cops, and you never once mentioned you're the guy who built Bluster Blaster. Just never seemed relevant, I guess. Understandable. What's wrong with the video game? It's fine, I guess. But with only a 1 megahertz processor and this 8-bit I.O. adapter, the AI doesn't get enough cycles to... Can the dork lingo, Chubbs. Just give me the recap. It'd be easy enough to download a new AI, but I haven't found one that's any good. Shouldn't you kids be outside playing or dating or whatnot? Outside? It's 8 o'clock at night. When I was your age, I would have set fire to at least four different categories of things by this hour. Nuh-uh. You would have been playing that video game all day, just like he is. Don't you sass me, boy! You're lucky that you grew up to be the only one who knows how to use the time machine, kid. Aren't you worried you're turning into something of a... well, uh... Dweeb? Doofus? Dorkwad? Who cares? I don't need you guys or anybody else. Max never calls me names. That's right, Poindexter. Good shot! Aw, uh, little Max is adorable. Wouldn't you rather grow up to be as cool as I am? With a boss car and a detective job and a huge gun? Hmm, would I have to be as fat as you too? Temporal Kill. anomaly detected. You got lucky, punk. Kill! There's gotta be something more constructive to do than work on this game all night. Well, there is that prom at the school tonight. This year's theme is Summer of Awakening Desire. Lame! 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 Well said! A smooth kid like you must have dozens of girls wanting to go to the prom with you. Uh, don't lie to the boy, Sam! Nah, all the girls are into Max because he's mean to them. And also, he doesn't complain when they dress him up in their doll clothes. Uh, ah, the precious memories. Let's stick to one neurosis at cute. a time, Max. Don't you want to get out and meet more sexy young people your age? Yeah, who's got time for that? My video game is so close to perfect. You're amazing! Oh, Bluster Blaster, you know me too well. I love this. Make good choices, son. Didn't you guys say I could play with your guns? We lied, kid. Remember this. It's a good life lesson. Better not. Better not. Tragic. Memorable toast. Is that toast, Lincoln? I knew Girl Stinky didn't really salvage this from the Titanic Part 2. It's our old pal, Bluster Blaster. Wait your turn! Hey, little guy. What are you scamps up to? I'm only playing Bluster Blaster, the newest and best video game ever made, duh! Nice try! Shouldn't you kids be doing something constructive? Or at least less nerdy? Today I get to do anything I want! 
You Happy do birthday. anything you want every day, Max. You're the best! Why don't you kids go outside and play? Why would I go outside when my best friend's in here? Gee, Max. Oh yeah, Sam's here too. You're radical! What's so great about this video game? Are you kidding? This game is the only thing that really understands me. You rock hard! See what I mean? Wouldn't it be healthier to get your validation from other people? People are dumb and they just don't get me. You're the greatest! See, it's like the game knows what I'm thinking. Playing that game so much is unhealthy, little guy. You're awesome! Unhealthy to hear the truth? I don't think so. I vaguely remember something very important about this day. What was it? There was my party? Duh! Don't forget that prom and after prom kissing retreat tonight, Max. Boring! Great job! You're getting better! That prom sounds like um. a fun and informative time for a young person. Why aren't you there? Couldn't you get a date? Loser! You're the loser, loser! No, you are! Jenny Tallarico asked me to go, but I told oh, her Oh, God. Down. She just doesn't get me like Bluster Blaster does. You dodged a bullet, kid. You almost dodged it. You don't need no Tallarico. But I guess Wasn't for the game's sake, Jenny Tallarico the girl who had a crush on you for years, Max? I don't know. I never noticed. They call her Jenny Tungarico because she'll kiss anybody and she uses her whole mouth. Uh, grody, ugh. grody. There's lots of neat stuff about girls. You'll realize once you take that first step to adulthood. Eh, why bother? I've got everything I need right here. You're the best. Just say no, little buddy. Word up. I really don't want to screw that. Oh, okay. No siree. Sorry. What happens if I shoot myself? I already scanned Max with this thing. That's how we got here. I've already scanned myself with this thing. Nuh uh. Alright. Don't mess. Old Stinky was the only one who could make a restaurant feel like home. Oh, hello. Okay. F plus. I'm not sure if that's failing well or failing poorly. All right, let's just talk to Stinky. Hi, Stinky. Are you the parents of those two parasites? Well, not exactly. Although we do still have a time machine, so I wouldn't completely rule out the possibility. That's gross, Max. I'm just saying. We bring a warning from the future. In about 25 years, you're going to be... murdered. Murdered my swollen pancreas. I once wrestled four rabid grizzlies while standing on the back of a rutting alligator while being pelted with karari tipped darts and fighting off a case of irritable bowel syndrome. He's so I'd cool. like to meet the man who can murder old Stinky. Hi, I'm Max. Honest, Stinky, we're detectives and we've seen all the evidence. You're gonna get offed. When? How? And who's going to do it? Well, we don't know exactly. Detectives is really more of a catch-all term for guys with guns. Some woman claiming to be your granddaughter has taken over your restaurant. Granddaughter my cleft palate. I never had any children. Really? A cantankerous, misanthropic, hairy old cuss like you would be great with kids. Hmm. Perhaps. Someday. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to rush you, Stinky, but if you're planning kids, you're going to have to get on that pretty quick. We're from the Public Health Board. Almost none of the vermin in this establishment are wearing federally approved hairnets. Government types. Pah! Weak and pathetic, the lot of ye. You can't even begin to comprehend what I'm doing here. I see My a toaster. dishes will challenge the weak and weed out the inferiors like you jelly-jawed lip-flappers. 
Only the strongest will survive. It will be glorious! Oh, I can see his eyes. <laughs> so, are you going to show us to our table, or what? How are the 80s treating you, Stinky? What Ladies. are you two still doing here? No animals allowed in my diner. It's okay. We're service animals. Could we be seated already? No shirt, no shoes, no service. We're being discriminated against, Sam. We want to order something. Too bad. We'll take a pan-fried red panda with. What? Can't you see? I'm so close to perfecting my gooey molasses tar cake. Yeah? Can't be arsed to cook for you hooligans when I've got so much cooking to do. What's a gooey molasses tar cake? It's based on my ancient family recipe. But my proud knuckle-dragging forefathers never thought to use my secret ingredient. The blood of innocence! Nutmeg. You're both wrong. And you're both stupid. It's the one thing no one has ever thought to use before. I'll test your tar cake for you, Stinky. Sam can, and will, eat anything. Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? To just waltz into a restaurant and order something to eat. You're just trying to find out my secret ingredient. Well, you won't, because it's the one thing no one has ever thought to use. Okay. Thanks for the chat, Stinky. I just go away and die. Okay. But most of all, thanks for just being you. Nah. No way. No siree. Bad. Not happening. Nope. Alright. We'll deal with the uh, Presidente. Whee! Uh, that one. There you go. My dearest Maxine, meet me tonight. <laughs> Tender caresses down your... <laughs> and a donkey. Love, the prez. That's very shocking, sir. Where were they going to meet? Inside Stinky's diner. Stinky's? I can't believe the president would eat at Stinky's. I've lost all respect for the man. Oh, so that's what the relevance of the pillow was. Okay. Well, I guess we'll make the baby. I haven't even seen the aliens yet. Make baby. Time stream altered. It's Mama Bosco's baby making machine. The mother sample is locked, but the father sample is open. It's a sample of Agent Superball's spit. These are all good. It all works out. Um, I guess we'll go to the future now. Oh, no, Look, Sam, open. more visitors. I don't know how to use a light bulb with that. There, there, Sam. Oh, why are you so old? Hello, future me. I can't shoot, Max. Apparently, all those years of adventuring have taken their toll. 
I can't use these things together. How goes the case, future me? I can't reach it. Keep up the good work. I think I'll leave him to his memories. All right. Hiya, future Max. Oh, hey, guys. Look, Sam, more visitors for your special day. Comically backwards past versions of ourselves. Nah, I want to keep these shoestrings. Okay. That's nice, Sam. The future is a baffling potpourri of peculiar sights and odors. Yes, our advanced world must be frightening and confusing to you. I'll try to speak slowly so that your 21st century brains can understand. Oh, thanks. So much in the office has changed. Oh, the wonders I could show the two of you if I wasn't afraid of violating the time stream. Yeah, the time stream's asking for it. Well, okay. In the future, we can make phone calls to other people even when we're not at home. My God! And our cars now have additional brake lights above the rear seats. Wow. What about robots? Do we have robot slaves in the future? With lasers? Oh, you uncultivated savages. Robots are used for controlling our spaceships these days. Uh... Surely you've heard of the main Tron 28,000 line. Well, of course. Right, Sam? Everybody's heard of that. I can't shoot Max. I wish you would shoot Max. It'd be funny. Shoot your husband. You must have been having a ton of exciting future adventures in space. No, we don't take that many cases anymore. We try to stay mostly around this street and the neighboring shops. Still? If you're not taking cases, what do you guys do? I've become an expert in volcanology, and Sam is... <laughs> Well, Sam is in his own world now. Great transmogrifying vapor wolves of Rigel 17. <laughs> Booster rocket through the Van Allen belt. I'm in my office. So happy. What's wrong with the other me? Oh, he's fine. Mostly. The years add up, though. It's lint from my pocket. This should be useful later. Do you remember how we cured Bosco of his parentage problems? Bosco, Bosco... Oh, he's the guy who invented Skynet, isn't he? No. I was hoping I'd be the one who did that. Right. I don't remember much about that case. Uh, something about spit, wasn't it? I'm glad to see the old freelance police are still in business. Yes, dear stupid past Sam. But of course, now we're a wholly owned subsidiary of Stinky Corp. What's Stinky Corp? <laughs> Get a load of this, Sam. These yokels have never heard of Stinky Corp. I don't feel like playing darts right now. Yes. Well, anyway, Stinky Corp is the mega corporation that owns everything in the future. Stinky made enough money from her diner to take over the world? No, no, cretinous Max. From her super adhesive. What's this about Stinky super adhesive? It oh, wait, revolutionized this might be... the whole galaxy. Now it's used for everything from scrapbooking to alien spacecraft. She's claimed in interviews that it was based on an old family formula. But Sam and I think we figured out the real secret. It's made from mole men. Oh. What's this about stinky super adhesive? It revolutionized the whole galaxy. Now it's used All spacecraft. Right. She's figured out... All right, so it's the sitar. Maybe. Be seeing you. So long! That's how we say goodbye in the future. Not much use for this anymore. What's that thing? With this bad boy, we'll never need another file cabinet. High tech rats. What future dystopia is this? Looks like we kept Bosco's model volcano after all these years. Blowing things up for science will never go out of style. It's a little late for that. All right, well, I'll do it. It says present. stinky stick tight adhesive based on an old family recipe. Number one throughout the entire galaxy with secret ingredient vitamin 13. It can't be all that big a secret if it's on the poster. Maybe secrets are different in the future. Oh, vitamin 13. The board's all wet and ruined. We must get careless in the future. Who cares? Whoa. Jesus Christ. I hate pack rats. Hmm, guess we couldn't afford two tape drives.
their appeal is timeless. Whee! How embarrassing. This is 30 start dates behind. When did the Jetsons move in? There goes the neighborhood. Uh, ba ba ba. What? Oh, right. Where we're going, there we is. won't need coach. Um. Okay. So let's do a few things here. Let's go to you first. So what happens if I cork you and then come back? It's for the good of the future, Max. Time stream altered. Oh, wait, does it unfuck the cold? Looks like our trusty bulletin board is still in good shape. It says stinky stick tight adhesive based on an old family recipe with secret ingredient vitamin 13. It's Bosco's model volcano safely sealed up. Looks like our trusty bulletin board is still in good shape. Oh wait, there was an obituary. Local mariachi Pedro died this week due to complications from inhaling ink ribbon fumes. What a waste. No. What am I supposed to do with this? Not happening. Okay, well that was a thing we recovered from it. I don't know what the fuck the point of it is. Um, we know the recipe. Can we just go there? Looks like girl Stinky was telling the truth for once. The gooey molasses tar cake really is an old family recipe. I'll test your tar cake for you, Stinky. Sam can and will eat anything. Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? To just waltz into a restaurant and order something to eat. You're just trying to find out my secret ingredient. Well, you won't, because it's the one thing no one has ever thought to use. Damn. So long, Stinky. <laughs> the fuck am I gonna get that? Okay. Um. Uh. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I guess at this point we just go home and see what we can fuck with in here. Oh. Bosco, you're back to normal. Hello, fool, Mr. President, fool. Hmm, I suspect we got the wrong dad, Max. Damn. We made him white. So, Whee! Bosco, are you feeling like yourself? Of course, sir. Never better. Damn, we made him white. Tragic. Don't worry, Bosco. We'll get you back to normal. Thank you, fool. I suggest you hurry. Ugh. Even when he's riding us, he's too polite. It's unnerving. He's so fucking white, that's crazy. Can't you give us any more details on your father? It's straightforward enough, fool. I was a test tube baby, first in the country. No idea who'd make a spit donation to your mom? No more cracks about my mama, Mr. President, or I'll have to ask you to step outside. Your mom must have mentioned the other spit donor at least once. Said she met him at the White House. Said he was a nice man, not particularly interesting. How's life as a paradox treating you, Bosco? I'd prefer it if I'd been born, sir. Please repair the time stream at your earliest convenience. Do you remember any of your mom's biggest turnoffs in a man? Hard to narrow it down, sir. She was always very contrary. Do you remember any of your mom? Hard to narrow it. We'll see you around, Bosco. Okay. 
and do appears it. to be made of the finest leather from only the finest and mutilated cattle. Hey Max, what do you think this thing is? Calibrating. Complete. I now have mastered your primitive but no less valid language. Okay. Please choose from the following topics of conversation. Oh god. Uh huh. Who are you? I am this craft's artificial intelligence. I supervise the operations of this craft and the activities of its crew. Where's the crew? They are currently occupied with the craft's primary mission. They will arrive shortly to detain you for your own safety. What happened to Bosco? The intruder made unsanctioned use of the time shuttle. How do we use that elevator? Simply choose a destination. Additional destinations can be opened using convenient pre-printed time cards. What are my options? My personality can be configured to respond in the style most appropriate to the user. Please choose from the following options. Passive aggressive. Selection acknowledged. I'll just alter my entire personality matrix to make you more comfortable. What are my options? My personality can be configured to respond in the style most appropriate to the user. Please choose from the following options. Abusive. Good choice, moron. Did you come up with that yourself or did your idiot friend help out? What are my options? My personality can please. Suggestive. Oh, that is exactly how I like it. Yay. All right, whore. We'd like to get a time card, please. I cannot print a time card until the captain chooses a destination. Darn. So long. I'll see you later. Bosco's oppressors could spring out of there any moment. Ray guns blazing. Darn. What's that? Doesn't matter. Out of my way. Oh, hello. Hmm. There appears to be an 18% loss of efficiency in the starboard tachyon pulse perambulator. It'd take me four days to fix. You have 30 seconds! I really don't want to screw that. No way. Either we've seen a huge spike in theta wave radiation off the port bow, or I have no idea how to read this thing. Alright, do we have anything that's, uh... The spaceship's artificial intelligence unit is stuck on the elevator. The spaceship's... Okay. Um... Oh, if we make Max like girls, Bosco won't. Uh... I picked the wrong one. Fuck my entire life. The spaceships are... Okay, uh... Can I fuck shit up in here? Maybe. Nothing doing. Nah. Nothing doing. to find some reason to make uh 
I do something to get a fucking meaner AI put in this machine, make Max not want to play it. Max goes to prom, likes girls, tells boss goes mom. Fuck. We need your help with something official. What will it be, sir? We want exclusive rights to produce our late. Very well. Colostomy bags made of bubble wrap. As much fun to pop as they are to wear. That's clever, sir. But I can't just issue a patent on an idea. What do you need? I'd need a sample of the invention, plus an explanation of what makes it unique. We want to hear another public service announcement. Do you know how to recognize a communist? Look for the telltale signs. All communists are double jointed in their necks and elbows to aid them as they steal American secrets. Okay. Communists also secrete a brownish viscous residue from their palms, which can be found on their homes, children, and pets. What? Now you know for a better America. Just keep guarding that door. Gladly, sir. Keep up the good work. Thank you, sir. I think I'm better off not knowing what Max is made of. I don't need a sample from him. I don't need a sample from him. Uh. What if I do Grandpa's... Grandpa? I'm gonna have to get seed soon. I just know it. Right here. Would you mind giving us a spit sample, Stinky? You want my spit sample? Just order some food. No thanks. Couldn't hurt to take just a sample. We should have those results for you in about a week, Mr. Cake. Now, turn your head and cough. What in the fuck is this gonna do? Pretty sure Bosco's father wasn't a tar cake. Not happening. No siree. Wait. What's this about stinky super adhesive? It revolutionized the whole galaxy. Miss Craft, she's cleared out the real secret. 
It's made from mold! So long. I have a sticky, but what the fuck is a pawn? Nothing I can do with the pewter shit. Oh, I might have to look at a guy, but I just progressed a little bit. Hmm. Me too, Matt. Uh, what the fuck do I even need adhesive for? Wait, do I go to the obituary to this Super Bowl? Nah. Oh, nothing doing. Nah. -uh. Uh huh. Getting nothing done. I mean, I got the adhesive, so that's gotta count for something. No way. Alright, I don't know why I thought that would do anything. Oh, wait. Wait. Nope. Wait. What is this? According to that letter, this isn't the only thing the president elect. Oh! Oh. Should be plenty of DNA-rich spit left on this envelope. The president's oh. a very thorough liquor. I forgot! Literally threw that letter. That's what the point of that was. Okay, I think we're figuring it out without a guide. We're gonna fix you, Bosco. We're gonna unwhite you, Bosco. We're gonna make you a different kind of mixed dude, Bosco. <clears throat> Time stream altered. Thank you, bestie. Let's see if it's a normal ass Bosco. Uh, home. Hope it's a normal Bosco. Who's there a cow? Oh, it's because the milk fell into it, that's why. Hey, Bosco's back to his old gruesome self! Took you fools long enough! We've still gotta figure out how to fix that time paradox, though. I don't know. Oh. I kinda like seeing less of Bosco. Yeah, but we don't want to rip a hole in the space-time continuum, little pal. We don't? You help us. How are we going to get off this spaceship? We're not getting off? until we've taken care of T-H-E-M once and for all. Then let's get to the wanton violence. Uh-uh. Not until you guys get me back to normal. Feeling better, Bosco? I don't know, you guys. I still feel kind of distant. What did you guys do? We kind of made it so that you've never been born. Whoops. But being born is one of the great... Right. Existence isn't something you can just ask. How's life as a paradox treating it, Bosco? It sucks, man. I want to do something. How is this T? It's a highly sophisticated technology that works based on a target person. You scan somebody with it, then use that to open a new destination for the time machine. Ah, <sighs> there's on space. We're on the case, Bosco. We've got to go break up with your mother. I told you guys. Not happening. Uh -huh. Nah. We
We'd like to get a time card, please. I cannot print a time card until the captain chooses a destination. So long. I'll see you later. Whee! Appears to be made of the finest leather from only the finest in mutilated cattle. Alright, I'm lost. I'm gonna concede. Help me. Theme guides. MMX, Beyond Time and Space, Episode 4, Chariots of the Dogs, Walkthrough, Ongoing, Posted by Volnut Hero, P64. You're my only hope. What was something I missed? Uh. Let's see. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Soda poppers. Huh. Okay, so that's sort of the missing person would be the soda poppers. Let's see. Okay, that's fair. I don't feel bad about... Yeah, so I was supposed to show the tar shit Super Bowl. That's fair. That is one that I, I could have figured out if I had just died. Uh, I got this thing. We'd like to patent our tar cake recipe, Super Bowl. It's a special recipe we made up ourselves, and anybody who says different is a damn liar. I see. And what ingredient makes that a unique invention? Vitamin 13. Very well. That seems to check out. Yay! That patent grants you exclusive rights to make, market, and improve on your invention. This must be just what Thomas Edison felt like. Minus the stealing and time travel, of course. Oh, Sam, you're so naive. Well, I'm gonna assume we want to give this shit to fucking Stinky at this point. I think we could probably solve this from here. Maybe. Here you go, Grandpa. We have to insist that you cease and desist all future production of gooey molasses tar cakes, Mr. Stinky. We're not angry at you for stealing from us. Just very, very disappointed. Poppycock! That recipe's been in my family for centuries. The U.S. Patent Office says otherwise, Gramps. The U.S. Patent Office can f my s pus filled f Actually, I don't believe that falls under their jurisdiction. Fine. I'll throw it out. Time stream altered. Okay, I guess. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's change it first. So this is how it works. So long. Okay, I can figure this. Yeah, I'm figuring the rest of this out myself so far. Okay, now we go back there. Now we got a fucky AI. Alright. So this is a point dexter. Wow. 
Wow, I've never seen anything that advanced. It must have at least 640 kilobytes of RAM. Yeah. Whatever, kid. This is exactly what I needed for my video game. I'll just download the AI. Yeah, you do that. Then go outside and play or something. Game, Sam. Nuh uh, I made it better. Go back to your game, Grandma! This like totally blows now. Let's go to that dance and make the moves on some chicks. But I was going to Penn Station to pick up some power converters. Beat it, nerds! Make sure you check out the snack table, little me. If I remember correctly, the pigs in blankets were decadent. Time stream altered. Check us. So, Max, feel any different? I feel like it's been too long since the Maxinator taught a lady what sweet, sweet love is all about. Let's motor so we can pick up some primo early 80s tail, bro. Ah. Uh, he's a beautiful little bisexual now. For time to be alive. Okay, I don't want this thing being mean to me. I'd rather it be weird and flirty because it's funny. Fixing a second box, so I'm doing unimportant shit. I can't change it. And so bad. All right, let's go fix Bosco. We're gonna fix you, Bosco. We're gonna make your mom hate Max. Got bisexual swag now. Making a change. Making a difference. I don't like this guy cutscene. Well, hello, Miss B. Did it get freaky sexy in here, or is it just you? What'd you do to my Max? The better question is, what is your Max gonna do to you? All night long. He's a little player. Miss Bosco. He's been like this ever since we were kids. Why don't we ditch the pooch so you can give me a special tour of the store? I've been wanting to see what you've got round back. <laughs> I thought you were different, Max. That does it. I'm done with all of you men. Temporal anomaly corrected. Jackass. Hey. Right. Let's go see Bosco now. Hey, look, you're normal. Looks like we did a pretty good job patching up that cigarette burn on the fabric of reality. Yeah, that's right, ladies. Come on up and give Daddy Max Time Fixer some sugar. You're a lovably lecherous tool, Max. There's Sam and Max. Now you've seen just how dangerous it is to mess with T-H-E-L. Dangerous? All that stuff we just fixed was your fault. Shut up! All right, let's go home. How do we get out of here? Oh. They know we're here! Relax, Bosco. Let's You're see, gonna have gonna a call. coronary. Yeah, they're probably the grotesque but misunderstood kind of aliens who just come to Earth because they hate cows and fields of weed. Well, you two go first. Hey, Bosco's coming with. Can be Skunk Ape? Skunk Ape? You're in the third one. You gotta be in this one too, right? Damn, it's... Crossing 98% complete. Hey! Prepare to deliver on my mark. <gasps> it's, it's T-H-E-M! Oh, bienvenidos, amigos. Hey! What are you guys doing here? We can explain everything quickly and simply. All right. No, that is not our way. <clears throat> All right. Invaders, but for birthdays they say maybe later we don't have the time. Mariachi, I, 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 I come back 
from the future and pick up young versions of me. Oh, that is you. In our spaceship, I, 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 we set course through the time stream and filled Gringo's birthdays with glee. No! Oh, father, don't freak out if you see Maria, he's extraneous. It's just me, Miss Vatos, who wish you feliz cumpleaños. Ah. But spaceships like this are expensive. Even more when they travel through time. And singing for birthdays on smack makes us both go dinero. So we took on a contract and that's our new boss to co sign. Mariachi, ay, 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 ay. Hey! Souls of the damned and we send them to places unknown. I don't want to go! To the portal, ay, 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 ay. Although first we must crush them with gigantic heads made of stone. Oh, my suck. Where they go, we don't know. But it's hard to make We still get to sing. No importa nada. When we say adios, so December, it's fine not to cry. We were there for your birthday. We'll see you again. Uh-oh. The cowman has had a heart attack. Begin the soul crouching. So, as I was saying, we had to sit and stare at nothing for one thousand years straight. Help me, Sam and Max! We have his obituary. What happens if we just show him it? Good news, senor. We found the gruesome details of your horrible demise. Oi, what a stupid way to die. Uh, I can think of stupider ways. And I could help. Kind of makes you want to quit your job, huh? Oh, no. There are still so many big questions I want answered. But screw that stupid printer. Oh. Can I interest you in my huevos, senor? No cholesterol. I don't want to end up like this sad cowman. The birth dater doesn't work on these guys for some reason. Hey, a portable birthday checker. Pretty clever. How come it doesn't work on you? The mariachi can never have a birthday for himself. It is our curse. Aw, oh, you poor bastard. Can we get a sample of your spit? Oh no, senor. I got a tonsillectomy to prevent any accidents. Oh, okay. No, oh, I clicked the wrong thing. Nope. No serene. I really don't want to screw that. Huh? Steel pinatas? People of the future are kind of missing the point. I do. Now, despite the soul crushing and abductions, he's really not such a bad guy. Okay. What questions do you want answered then? Look here, Pedro. Pedro! Boy, you people from the past are backwards. Ah, uh, Sam just racist because moments. I'm mariachi with a big sombrero and mustache. I'm some two dimensional cultural stereotype. You're right. I've been insensitive. We're Sam and Max, freelance police. What's your name? <laughs> I'm just kidding. My name really is Pedro. I figured it was going to be that joke. Tough break about the dying and all. Oh, well, at least I got in the newspaper. You've got to free Bosco, you maniacs. Nothing personal, but we cannot do that. We were scheduled to pick up two souls in Germany, but we only got the one. The cowman will fill our quota. Well, if you're delivering trapped souls, where are the cages? Cages? 
we don't got no cages. We don't have to show you any stinking cages. We keep the souls on that platform, see? We'd feel better if you'd give us Bosco's soul back. Oh, don't worry, amigos. I'm watching the whole soul-crushing process to make sure he doesn't escape. You guys are pure evil. Oh, that's not nice. We're not evil. And after we deliver the cowman's soul, we'll have paid for the spaceship. And then you can quit? Oh, no, senor. There's still so much for us to do with our time machine. So many deep questions left to answer. Like what? Like, what about the far, far future? How will I die? Well, we already saw that. I can that. think of a few ways. And what is it like at the beginning of time, before history was written? Which came first, the chicken or the egg? Chicken. Egg. Egg. Chicken. See, I must keep on until I find out for sure. You don't seem like a bad guy, Pedro. Quit this evil job. I told you, senor. I can't quit. At least until I found all the answers. Like, and which came first, the cheap. Adios. See you later, guys. We already found out how he died. Can I... Hey, check this out. What is that? It's from uh, the beginning of. Uh... Keep cool, Sam. You can do this. It's from the beginning of the universe. You're a terrible liar, Senor Pedro. Oh, I admit it. Now, do you understand why I wouldn't make you vice president? Damn. It's the Mariachi's colorful piñata. Alright. Poor Bosco. Was good. The horror of time traveling mariachis was too much for his weak heart to bear. Funny seeing you guys here again. If there's nothing funny about it, it's what we were carved to do. Hey, lighten up on Sam and Matt! Oh, you're one to talk, Mr. One Offensive Stereotype after the next. Now you're just being me. Hey, pal. Must be nice finally getting out of that dirt after a thousand years. <laughs> He's been buried all that time? That's so sad. Oh no, we're killing Bosco. What are you guys doing here? We were picked up right after the volcano erupted. Obviously, it was a signal flare for the carvers to come get us. See, we're not so good with the direction. Don't you want to take it easy on Bosco? We never had it easy. We just had to sit and stare for years and years. <laughs> Stop what you're doing. It's evil. What's evil is being stuck on a spaceship while going through severe basalt withdrawal. Is this guy always like this? Oh, I don't. I think it's just repeating the same. Still memories. working through your anger issues? <laughs> Buried for a thousand years? Who would do that to somebody? How you doing, Bosco? You gotta help me out, guys. They're really bringing me down. And then, in 1158, oh, there was that monkey that just kept on pooping. Need anything, Bosco? I need you fools to save me, damn it! Oh, don't even get us started on the native dances. Take it easy on Bosco. He's right, Sam. I am a failure. We're on the case, Bosco. Hurry up! It was always the same thing. Over and over again. Another errant Bermuda Triangle. Everything's starting to make sense. That was pretty good, Sam. I actually started to almost believe you. Flying is always a good substitute for not having a damn clue what the heck is going on. 
I'm almost at a two hour mark. Tragic. Hello. Attempt to enter soul crushing area. Please acknowledge. Override, Captain Pedro. Arriba, Burro, Chipotle. Voice print match. Bridge override accepted. I had a feeling those mariachis wouldn't just stand by and let us take Bosco's soul back. It may look like a zebra, but my Mexican friends assure me it's a donkey in zebra clothing. Uh -huh. Oh, I can't go anywhere else. It's some weird alien device that... Oops. Ay, not again. Just leave it. Seems like everything on this ship is most of hard these days. Hmm, it looks like some kind of futuristic low-tech printer. Nobody's gonna need this worthless ink ribbon. Hey, you can't just throw litter into the time vortex. Yeah, Sam. Somewhere a time-traveling Native American is crying. Where did it land? At the rate we're going, can we press? Last month at the castle in Germany. Is that gonna be enough? Putting course on screen. Hefe's log. We are on course for our most difficult mission yet. Triplets! Keep the time shuttle open for emergencies while I figure out how we tackle this. The most dangerous boss day. Whatever. Issuing time card for embarrassing idol. Hello? Okay. We should. No, no, not right now. Don't. Try. Yeah, there she is. It has the embarrassing idol logo and more of those strange numbers. Not now, Hefe. Uh. I know we gotta scan these little buggers. Oh man, that song is even worse than I remember! So I can't I believe I voted for you! Catch. Keep it down, Max. We don't want to mess up time any more than we already have. You really nailed that high note! Whoa! And you're less sloppy than my brother is. You've got my vote. Hey! All of the remaining judges have agreed. We have a winner! No! Congratulations, Sam. Here's your recording contract. Bin Bottom Records. It's like a dream come true. Specs, I'll get you for this if it's the last thing I do! Right after I get back from Mount Rushmore. Rushmore? I'd better go after him. I just remembered. I have to feed my goldfish. Are we still taping? Uh, be sure to join us. That's our cue, little buddy. Sick him. Sam and Max, listen to our words. Hey, look, Sam. Doppelgangers. Who are you clowns? We're you guys from your distant future. Heed our dire warnings. I always thought I'd be taller. What are you guys doing here? Beware Santa Claus. And Mr. Spatula. And Hugh Bliss. Actually, a lot of people have tried to kill us. This could take a while. Nonsense. Yeah, all those guys are our friends. Got any questions about your immediate future? Hmm. Nope, can't think of any. What number am I thinking of right now? 28. That's all? There's nothing you're curious about? We'd rather see it for ourselves. Keeps the mystery in our relationship. <laughs> Aww. What else can we do here? We just came to say hello. Somebody's got trouble letting go of the past. I'll be glad when I grow out of that attitude problem. Alright, well, hello. Okay, that's done. Congratulations on your recent embarrassing idol victory. Now hand over that contract. No chance. We need it. But that's supposed to be my contract. I won it fair and square. And I helped him cheat. 
Forget it, clones. That contract is ours. Now take a hike. Let's get back to our time machine, Max. Yeah, I've seen more than enough of this place for one lifetime. Time machine? Oh, cool. Where to, little buddy? Just hit random buttons. Well. So, that's bad, Magic. right? Yep. Oh boy! In the future, we've got our own spaceship! And our own industrious and no doubt completely legally hired crew. Incoming delivery. Entrega entrante. You jerks! You made us go through the last year and a half all over again. Stand aside, decadent future versions of ourselves. Yeah, we've got a very important case to solve here. Okay. No way. I'm never going back there again. Oh. I don't know what to think. I want to ask, ask you something. something. Hey, pal, I'll ask the questions here. But, oh, all right, go ahead. What is he waiting for? Be patient, Max. It takes a while to think up the right thing to say. Max and I have to get to the moon. How do we get there? Ah. Oh. I mean, you literally just drive there. Why don't you just drive there? You can't just drive to the moon, bonehead. Sheesh, Sam. Our future selves have no respect for plausibility. Why do you need to go to the moon anyway? Freelance police business. Don't you worry your pretty little head about it. I say we don't answer them, Sam, if they're gonna take that kind of attitude. Yeah, but I remember that case, pal. I don't want to mess up the space-time continuum well, They just drive there. You need to get a clue. All right. Where do we get one of those? Blood luck. We've got one you can use. We'll trade you for a recording contract. Hey, we've got one of those, Sam. Right, Max. But we need it to get onto Myra's show, remember? Oh, right, right, yeah. Who's Myra? But we already told you. We solved that case. Twice! Likely story. I don't trust me for one second. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. I've got a question. Ask away. How can we get to the moon again? Didn't you already ask me that? Yeah, and I'm going to keep asking until I get a different answer. That's just how we roll. You need to get a clue. All right. Where do we get one of those? Ask Agent Superball in the future. Well, there's two hours we're never getting back. Just between you and me, pal. I don't think those future versions of us know what they're doing. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. I've got a question. Ask... You need a screwdriver. All right. Where do we get one of those? We've got one. We'll trade you for a recording contract. Sorry, pal. We need that contract. Ah, uh, what do we need it for again? To get on Myra's show, remember? You'd better think of something else. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. I've got... Ask away. How can we get... Uh... You need a time-traveling phone booth. All right. Where do we get one of those? We've got one. We'll trade you. Sorry, pal. Hey, buddy. Hey. You need a really big trampoline. All right. Where do we get one of those? Ask Agent Superball. Why do we keep listening to future us? It's last year's version of Max. I'm not putting my mouth on that. What's your job around here, buddy? Shh! Quiet! 
Monsignor. Did someone say... Oh, no. False alarm. Let me guess. You spend all your time listening for people to say birthday, okay? Did someone say birthday? Yeah, Sam just said birthday. Please, senors. My job is very important. This must be the most boring job ever. Don't you ever get a break? I get to go on the away missions. Those away missions sound neat. Let's see you in action. Don't be silly, senor. I can't just go and sing for no reason. Come on, there's got to be tons of birthdays going on. See, si, but we've already sung for all of those. We can only do it once. Uh. Hey, Max, what happens on April 22nd? Hmm, I think that's Earth Day. Okay. <laughs> Showtime, people. Attention! Wait, you make the joke on me, eh? Pretty snicky. Max, what do Australians celebrate on June 11th every year? Hmm, by any chance, would that be Perth Day? Did someone say, got me again? Max, want to go watch Pride and Prejudice and all the Bridget Jones Diary movies back to back? You know it, girlfriend. It'll be our Colin Firth Day. Did someone say, hold your guys? This work is beneath you. It's tedious and error prone. Frankly, we think you should leave. Nonsense. I have caught six of the birthdays today alone. The look of happiness and utter confusion on people's faces makes it all worthwhile. We demand you return our pal Bosco's soul. I can't do that, senor. The cowman's soul will help us pay for our mission. Why do you hate the birthday so much? Sayonara. Okay. The talking dog said goodbye. Hey, Mac. Which one of the mariachis are you? Oh, yo no soy mariachi. Soy capitán. Soy capitán? Soy capitán. The mariachi says he is the captain. Yeah, I think we got that. Thanks. Who are you guys? We're Sam and... <gasps> Wait! Not the Sam. Huh? You know who I am? Of course, you're the famous recording star, no? Well, I don't like to brag. It is you. No one believed you could have a career with no talent at all, but uh. you proved us all wrong. You're a hero to all of us who wish to sing. You must be a great singer if you're the captain. I could escape this two-peso operation and become the greatest singer time has ever known. If only I could ditch this dead weight. Rivalry! Now it's getting interesting. You want to start a solo career? See, si, but that can never happen as long as we keep singing for the birthdays. How will I get my big break? Where are we going? Amigos, we are on course hasta la madre de todos los cumpleaños. Friends, we are on course for the mother of all birthdays. Sam, you've got to stop encouraging these guys. Look on the screen. Triplets. And not just any triplets. They all have the same birthday. What's so hard about your mission? Yeah, you just show up, sing, and leave everybody confused. The others, maybe. But the Capitan cannot be so sloppy. It's muy importante that no one notice us, or remember that we were ever there, for a year at least. Are we still on course? Si, embarrassing idol and the triplets birthday, dead ahead. Permission to stop talking, Captain. Granted. We'd like to get a time card, please. Issuing time card for embarrassing idol. It's blank. Hey, I need the blank one. So long. Get lost, failure. Okay. But don't don't worry about him. This is what we need. We're gonna figure this out. 
long ass video. Water is wet. Wow. Was it silent? Just look at it, Max. Okay. Yeah. What am I looking at exactly? Everything. Our entire universe. Before the creation of matter and energy and quantum particles or something. It's at this spot that everything you know, or will ever know, will be Mr. Featherly. Oh, hey guys. Why are you here? That's the singularity from which the entire universe is going to spring in a mind-bendingly tremendous cataclysm. Neat. What's that? Mr. Featherly? Sam and Max? Are you really the oldest living creature in existence? Or are you the last of a race of terrifying elder gods bent on restoring chaos to our upstart universe? Neither. I assure you I arrived here quite by accident. How'd you get here? I was filming the climactic volcanic eruption scene in Midtown Cowboys, the motion picture. Suddenly, I found myself abducted onto some type of alien spacecraft. Uh. After a frightfully amateurish song and dance number, I was deposited unceremoniously into the beginning of the universe. Oh, that old story. Wait, wait, wait. There's a Midtown Cowboys movie? Uh, yes, well, I'm sure we were going to call you, but we decided to go in a different direction. Oh, we have got to get a new agent, Sam. How do you like it here around the Singularity? I thought dinner theater in Ocala, Florida was dull. But that was nothing compared to, well, nothing. Being here at the start of it all can't be all bad. Well, I will give it one thing. The acoustics are outstanding! <laughs> ah. Why don't you come with us, Mr. Featherly? I'm sorry. I can't let you do that, Sam and Max. That chicken is the source of all life in the universe. Removing him would cause a catastrophic temporal paradox. Catastrophic temporal paradox! <laughs> Mr. Featherly's not the only chicken around here. Hmm, apparently I am. And there's the rub. See you around, Mr. Featherly. Probably not, Sam, since he'll be long dead before we're even born. Oh, right then. Hang loose, Philo. You've been doing a good job, Mr. Featherly, but we decided to cast someone younger. Very well. As long as I can leave this accursed... Uh, wait! What are you doing? Put me down at once! Suck it up, Featherly. It only takes a day or two to get used to Sam's caustic B.O. Curse you, Max and Sam! Time stream altered. Jackass. Oh yeah, that was easy. Gonna be as silent as the credits. Put me down at once. There you go. Not yet, Mr. Not yet, Mr. Feather. Dear God, man, do you ever wash that coat? Que onda con el pollo? He's from before time began. Yeah, turns out the chicken came first. Hmm, it makes no sense. If that's the chicken, what's there and now? Well, we left an egg. Likely story. I'll have to see that egg. But, 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 I'm just kidding. Boy, you past people are so gullible. Wait, 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 no! Don't put me back in there! Any more questions about the nature of our existence? No, the chicken was the big one. Vaya con Dios, Maxi Sam. Okay. Attempting soul delivery. Override from Capitan Pedro is not ready yet. Check this out, Max. A thousand years spent shivering in Antus. You stop time! Neat! Now make it go backwards! Mission! Ow! 
That's the best I can do, pal. Uh huh. I really don't want to screw that. That's easy to figure out. A thousand years spent shivering in Antush. Attempting soul delivery. Override from Capitan Pedro is not ready yet. I well, won't do anything while time is frozen. All right. Attempt to enter soul crushing area. Please acknowledge. Override, Captain Pedro. Arriba, burro, chipotle. Voice print match. Bridge override accepted. Mission. Now what? Um, I'm gonna look up a guide, fuck it. I'm looking up the same guide as earlier. Getting the hang of this time travel stuff. Let us change the course of time without fear or confusion. Okay. Let's change the national date. Um, I don't know how I'm supposed to know this normally. The official date has been changed. So it is written, so it shall be. Same guy I mentioned earlier. That was apparently that date. Hey, Super Bowl, what day is it today? It's the 6th of September, sir. It's my birthday. I said, it's my birthday. Sorry I'm late, amigos. Did someone say, birthday? Wait up, guys. I'll be there in just a minute. Goodbye. Oh no. Gracias for the song, senor. This has been the best birthday ever. Yay! Happy for him. Hey, you can go solo now. You want to start a solo career? See, si, but that can never happen as long as we keep singing for the birthdays. How will I get my big break? You want to start a solo career? Si. Are we st- Si. The mariachis use it to listen across time and space for special occasions. It's the elevator's emergency recall button. Whee! We don't have the dead weight anymore. You've got to set Bosco free. Oh no, senor. No one can enter the soul crushing. The rules they are very explicit about this. This is all your fault. You're the ones who killed Bosco. That is ridiculous. Wait. You aren't going to sue, are you? Your singing scared him to death. It was a pre-existing condition. I have the weaknesses. We'll let you go this time, but only because we respect your methods. We know what we're doing. 
Let us free our pal Bosco. For the last time, as long as I am Capitan of this ship. Now, why don't you run along? You want to start? See, si. how will I? Audio. Okay, fuck it. I'm just looking at the guide again because I cannot afford to waste more time. Um, okay, I don't understand this one, but okay. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. I've got a question. Ask away. How can we... You need it. All right. Ask Agent Superball in the future. Why is it different this time? What is this place? This is not our beautiful house. How did we get here? It's a mariachi. Do I know you? Like a brother. Weren't you gonna ask me something? How to get to the moon, for instance. Oh, right. How do we get there? You need a screwdriver. All we right. One. Where do we get one of those? We've got one. We'll trade you for a recording contract. Hey, Sam. Don't we have a recording contract? Yeah, but we need it for... Um... Uh, huh. I can't remember. It must be important, or we wouldn't still be carrying it. You kept it so you could bring it to us, right? I guess so. Along with that carton of missile pops you promised. Don't push it, Max. All right. Here you go. Well done, Sam and Max. That was the last of your quests. You have scored 234 out of a possible 500 points! I bad! Aren't you gonna trade us something? Uh, yeah. Here's that screwdriver you guys wanted. Goodbye! We'll never forget all you've done here today! Have fun on the rest of your adventures. I'm even more confused than usual. Okay. I want this to end. Take your stupid contract. Here you go, Captain. Your ticket to musical stardom. My very own recording contract. Now I can ditch this dead weight and become the international superstar. A mariachi superstar. Yeah, well, good luck with that. Oh, no, senor. Mariachi music is old news. I'm going to sing songs about trains. Ah. <laughs> I sit in it? Appears to be made of a fine. Alright. I save Bosco now. Woohoo! Now the spaceship is ours to command! Ensign Sam, set course for ancient Rome! Our mission? To hunt Caligula! Stop goofing off, Max. We've got to extend that bridge and return Bosco's soul. What's happening? I don't want to go! Whoops! Great. Now we'll have to figure out how to get all up in there. Damn. And Bosco to the afterlife. A thousand years spent Who are you even talking to now? in Antrus. Attempt to enter soul crushing area. Please acknowledge. We got rid of them all. Just make with the bridge already. All right, all right. Standing bridge. Ah, uh, I love seeing his little, little, little body. Hola, Sam and Max. You don't know us, but we are time traveling mariachis with a warning from the future. Whatever you do, do not extend that bridge. Bridge extended. Uh-oh. Foreign bodies in time vortex. Self-destruct sequence engaged. Madre de Dios! Let's get out of here! We could cover some more birthdays. Okay, Pedro, you take the bog in the diner. Pedro, you take the statue-loving lady on Easter Island. I'll take the monster. Oh, yeah. Good luck, maxi -san.
setting course for the beginning of the universe. Out of destruction imminent, please evacuate immediately. So, Sam, is now a good time to start pulling my hair out and wetting myself in panic? Knock yourself out, pal. Better hurry, though. Nose! Uh... Poor Bosco. The horror of time-traveling mariachis was too much for his weak heart to bear. Uh... Uh, what do you want me to do? Guy does not tell me what to do past this point. Oh, fuck. Oh. No way. Nothing doing. Nope. Now, we can't reach the portal from here. What do you want me to do then? is only strong enough to suck Bosco's corpse up halfway. They can make a time-traveling spaceship, but they can't invent an interdimensional portal that doesn't lose suction. I'm not going to start an earthquake, and he's all. It's already sucking. Our well-meaning but dreary pals from Easter Island. Approaching beginning of the universe. Destruction imminent. Go, little buddy. It's now or never. Where do you think this portal goes? Anywhere that's not on a spaceship set to self-destruct and hurtling towards the beginning of the universe. All right, Sam. This doesn't work. I'll see you in hell! Hey, music! Where you been? I didn't hear you last two times I played. Bad. I'm tired. I don't know what to say right now, but I'm happy to hear the music. It's nice. Um, um, I don't know. But I wonder how the next episode is going to be, because that is the season finale of season two. And then I have season three, which I'm still worrying about the Peter performance. 
Hopefully we'll be fine. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Hi, DK. I don't know. At least there's nice music this time. Also, I forgot to drink water this entire time. Sad. I think there's a bug in my water. Where are we going? Oh, so that's how it works. There we go. The beauty of life. It's over. Done.